Hi everybody, welcome back. Well tonight I'm going to be running through um, the first uh, Fast and the Furious 6 car set. Um, I've uh, had about four of these cars for quite a while and I was just missing two. Uh, one of the ones I was missing was this one right here, the Honda uh, S2000. Um, now this is a six car set. I'm not sure exactly uh, what year it was released, but I managed to finally get the last two models to complete the set. Um, they arrived in the post today, so I thought I'd just run through it with you. So here's the card art on this one. This is card number one of the six car set. Um, too Fast, Too Furious. Um, and that's the Honda. We'll just zoom in on it, get a bit of a better look at it in pink. Unusual colour for a for a car but um, quite a nice car all the same so that's number one of six in this set so uh, pretty pleased I was managed to get that uh, next one number two is the 1970 Chevelle SS from Fast and the Furious that's the uh, card out there and as you can see it's just got Fast and Furious so each one of these, I think, is from a different uh, movie in the franchise. And uh, pretty hard to see this one in the blister, but really, really nice car. Um, quite a nice um, model, that one. So that's the 70 Chevelle SS. And the third one, number three of six, is uh, Fast and the Furious Fast Five. This is the Ford GT. 40 in blue this is a really nice casting this the Ford GT has always been a popular casting uh, and just a particularly nice model in this particular set so there it is in blue it's got the really cool white stripes on the top and pretty neat so that's uh, number three of six and uh, number four of six uh, as they all fall off the uh, table number four of six is the uh, Nissan Skyline this is one of my favorites in the uh, in the whole set it's pretty hard to see in this light but it is a black car and obviously being a black car um, inside a blister on a black background this is from the fast five as well not the easiest car to see so i might just try and zoom in a fraction more on the car itself and hopefully we'll get a little bit more detail it's not too bad but as i say um not the greatest lighting in this room so a little bit difficult to see but this one's very nicely done it's got really good deco on it it's got nice uh Nice detail on the on the front and the back. Nice tail light detail, as you can see. That's a very cool looking car indeed. That one, Nissan Skyline. Number five of the series, which was the second car that I didn't have, was the two thousand and nine Nissan GTR. So um, there you go. I don't particularly like this casting. I don't know why. It just looks a bit the car uh, the proportions don't look that great to me but um big fan of the gtrs i love them but i don't know this one just doesn't do it for me uh the other four very very good so again this 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 is from the same uh, guy on the internet and uh just a big uh, shout out to him uh thanks very much um he, he goes by the name of bebo that's his um trade me name and he didn't charge much for these cars at all so when these cars came out they were only around about um, five dollars and he sold both these cars to me for six dollars each so you know uh, it's really nice when people have a surplus in their collection and they sell them on not just to make money but to um, but just to help out fellow collectors so that's pretty awesome and the last of the set, number six of six, of course, is the Lamborghini Murcielago. There it is in orange. Again, not overly impressed with this particular one. 
these last two probably not quite the greatest um, castings in the uh, in the six car set. I don't know whether it's the colour or what, but um, the other four are great. But these last two, I don't know, they're just not quite right to me. But having said that, there we go, Lamborghini Murcielago, and that's from that's number six of six of the Fast and Furious. The Fate of the Furious has got on the card there. So that's the last one. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. But I will like to add, um, my daughter and I went into our local store today to pick up uh, the, the last five cars of the 50th anniversary favourite set. And uh, you guys would have seen the, uh, uh, the sets around. And obviously the second set um, is a Volkswagen drag bus. Uh, there's a really nice uh, Ford Galaxy and um, there's also a um, 78 Dodge Little Red Express truck and also the um, 69 Camaro and also the uh, the Bel Air Gasser and what really uh, annoyed me tonight was that they had just put out four boxes, four cases of this set and somebody had gone through each box and pulled out the gasser only. One person did this and bought all of them. Now, I'm all for collectors, you know, pig hunting and, uh, you know, getting a couple of extra cars to um, maybe one for display and one on the card, you know, like I do. Um, but these people um, that just go into a store, uh, grab the cases down and pull out say the gasser for instance and then they scalp them um, on online trading sites and that's the thing that really annoys me is these guys are not interested in collecting they don't care about hot wheels they don't care about the the fun of collecting it with your kids and your family all they're interested in is making money and charging an extortionate amount of money uh, to people like myself who are now one car short in my set my 10 car set is now one missing and uh, some of the prices these guys want online for instance I saw one today $75 New Zealand um, and it's an $8 car um, so you know these guys are scum as far as I'm concerned um, I don't mind paying double the price if I have to to get a car but for people to just go and take all of the really uh, popular cars and the collectible ones out of a set and then scalp them off for ridiculous money um, just really grinds my gears so that's my little gripe for this afternoon um, hopefully I'll be able to get a Chevy Bel Air Gasser for not too much money um, but from what I've seen so far it looks as though it's going to be pretty expensive and to be fair we don't have the money for that sort of thing uh, so Maybe I'll be missing one out of my collection, but that's the way it goes. But you know my thoughts on these guys. Genuine collectors, hey, that's cool. But these scalpers, they're just scum. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. That's my real whinge and my bitch for this afternoon. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great evening, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the six-car set from The Fast and the Furious. I'm waiting on three more cars from the eight-car set to arrive. And by the way, I didn't pay much more than about a dollar fifty more than the than the sticker price for these cars. Again, same trader uh, sold them to me at a very fair price, and that's that's great. So hopefully, I'll be able to uh, showcase that when they come in in the next few days. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great evening wherever you are. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.